Well, boys and girls, ladies and gents, friends and foes, I'm disappointed. I've just done a quick test before I put the video on to see if it had sorted it. <laughs> and it hasn't. Um, yeah, it's still juddering. I'm going to set the tripod up. Sorry about the wind. I want to set the tripod up and um, I'm going to hopefully get some footage. Uh, I'm going to then send that to Janssen, Janssen, however you pronounce it. And um, yeah, we're going to go from there, see what they come back with. But pretty disappointed, really. Uh, I thought that spring, well, as they, was, as they were telling me, I thought that spring was going to sort it out. So. Um, yeah, so well, I've got all this to get through, so I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to use it. A bit there, a bit there. So I'm gonna have to use it. I've got another. What was all stacked up over there? I've got another two loads of that to come yet. See, so it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of splitting. So that's the bay that this will, all this lot will go into. That's gonna go into that bay there. Um. Eight, eight foot ish by eight foot eight foot that way from there to there and then from the back to the front eight foot by uh, six six foot something high a lot of wood in there a lot of split wood um, I'm gonna learn from my mistakes I uh, made a, a, a huge royal fuck up <laughs> so I was coming around here the other day getting some dry split wood and uh, take it away from the pile and look at that it's damp it's mouldy it's growing some sort of mushroom fungi fungus whatever you call it pissed off royally royally pissed off but it's my own fault I've stacked them far too close um, I'm gonna re redo this back of this woodshed, um, I'm going to open it up so it's airflow right the way through, uh, but obviously giving some sort of rain protection. Um, so yeah, not great. It's um, it's furry, fuzzy, growing all sorts of crap on it. So that's going to have to be dried out again. Um, I have a moisture meter. Now I know I'm doing it on the end grain here and there's going to be a lot of people who go you hey, shouldn't be doing it that way, you should be splitting it and then getting a representation that way Well it is split So uh, There's my oyster here Right, well Clag that in the end Let's See if we can get that, what's that say? Thirty-one percent moisture. That's the good. No good at all. Christ, I wouldn't even burn that till next year. Twenty-eight point twenty-eight, going down to twenty-seven. Yeah, okay. Now this top stuff, dry. Air been going up here. Let's have a look at that one. See if we can get. No, can we get anything on that? GoPro is terrible. Fourteen percent. Boom. Ideal dry, uh, burning. It's dry. It's ready. Well, this shit. Look at it. It's absolutely sodden. See if we can get that one. Twenty-eight. This GoPro is terrible. Twenty-eight. Terrible. It's no good. So I pulled down a row. That's all this on the floor. Left that up there. <laughs> There's another row behind that that's going to be the same. But this stuff here, let's have a look at this one. Let's jab our meter into it. Oh fuck, that ain't going to get used this year either. What's that saying? Let's pick it up. 28.9. Eight. Shit, son. So. Looks like this one's abandoned. 
that one had a leak and I think I might be able to use that front stack now don't know about the back stuff on there I'll have to use the end bay that's why I did what I did lots of bays, lots of wood that one's all dry right through because I've had the roof off and I've checked it so happy days but I didn't, I didn't stack that one as tight-ish well, as tight so anyway, enough of me babbling I'm going to set the GoPro up I'm going to get a video of it splitting and juddering ah, it's, really, it's really, really disappointing me that I'm not mad, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed anyway guys, we'll get you set up and we'll put a video back on to see what's going on see you in a bit Okay, everybody, I'm back. Uh, right, gonna get the engine started up. Um, one problem I did, I have got, is I've got a really slow return on on this, so it must have some shite on the ram, uh, on the rack. So I'm gonna uh, get this. I will get this cleaned off. Uh, you'll see it'll go out as fast as it should, and then it'll just create back. It should just fly back. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to be operating from this side. Uh, it should be from the side where you're at at the moment. But as you can see, I've got all this wood behind me. And um, I can't get you set up. So, until I get some, uh, you know, moved out of the way, that's where you're going to be. Um, one good thing about this splitter is the engine has never had any issues with starting up. Um, the bridge and Stratton um, it's it's a two, 208 cc doesn't give it horsepower but it's never ever um, let me down it was first pull when I did a test so you'll see you'll see hopefully that will happen again
because that's what I'm dealing with. Judah, judge, clang, clang, bang, boom. It does get through eventually, but it's something's not right. So tonight I'm going to email Hansen again and I will include a snippet of this process, hopefully in the email and again they'll be able to uh, hopefully identify something. So um, I'm going to set you up for a bit of a time lapse now and then uh, uh, but I'm going to set you up, maybe he's over there and um, yeah I'm going to get splitting some because I've got a lot to get through <laughs> and I want to get back on that side so I can operate it more efficiently so anyway guys um, I'll set you up and we'll see you in a bit